Let's go. Humming. Place of power, it's gotta be. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? Didn't have to fight anything or anyone. I simply freed the spirit. Y you did what? Freed the evil so it can prowl the world as it will. Did what had to be done. Y uh, and if it returns? Ask the ladies of the wood to help. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? I I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. Payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive... Must seek his own protectors.
your weapon, young man. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Disobeyed us once more. We are forgiving creatures, but you, you allowed the children to escape. They never wanted to flee. They liked it here. They played. Your punishment must be harsh. Now silence! We must speak to the white-haired one. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. You looked different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? I'm impressed. Polymorphism, a rare talent. Oh, I'd suck every last drop out of you. Ah, to be woven together with you? I'd be your best and last. Hmm, not what I came for. You used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Not free, brave soul. Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? I freed the spirit trapped in the tree. Hear that, sisters? Traitor! She took the children, but her! We made a deal. I was supposed to help the villagers. I held up my end of the bargain. They're safe now. So, a mockery you chose to outwit. Whose spirit was trapped in the tree? That of one who once cheated death. You freed an ancient power. It will rise again. Elsewhere, beyond our reach. Blood will flow once more. What foolish things men sometimes do. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a nail, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Don't believe you. 
They say you always keep your word, so tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone special was alive. We let beast entrails saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood, the foam sea that would burst into flame. Tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. You tried to kill her. Can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl will die, <laughs> she's seen you, handsome knight.
work, my man's got, eh? Not half bad. Alright, let's move it. Assist you. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So long. May I assist you? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock.
So long. <laughs> Went to the village for the levy, and that one hard banged the lass. So the bloody baron ripped him a new one. Sure. Got eyes like a cat. You catch mice too. <laughs> You white one, look like you got soused up. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why would you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core? A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Ethan, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger, to get the girls back, bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname. Makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. 
threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life and mine several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Now as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. Got only yourself to blame, I think. Leaving her to fend for herself. How was I not to? I was a soldier. I had no choice. There's always a choice. Ah, sod it all. I see all my prattlings for naught. You won't bring Anna home, I know that. Will you betray to me how she landed in that bloody swamp? Your wife is with the crones, as their servant. What the fuck do you mean? What crones? Ones who live in Crookback Bog. Oh, I've heard folk speak of them. I thought it naught but tales to scare the children with. How on earth did she land there? They fled by night. They were riding past the forest when a beast serving the crones attacked them and abducted Anna. A beast? Bloody hell. And Tamara? Was she hurt? No. Oh, thank the gods for that. So, Annie? What happened to her? The creature carried her deep into Crookback Bog. Didn't harm her, though. In fact, Anna seems content there. Content? What is this tripe, Witcher? What in bloody blazes is she doing in that swamp? She made a pact with the crones and, well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently, and I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not, but I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked off his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute.
I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! Let's show this bastard what we're worth! Yeah! 